Hello and thank you for watching this episode of Tyler Tech Tips and today we will be building a NAS. Alright, so for today's build what we have is we will be building in the Fractal Node 304, 303 and we will be using this Gigabyte H170M. This is the first time I am opening any of these products. Look how tiny and cute it is. For the CPU cooler, we're using the Noxroar NHLI90. Very prestigious. Here it is. For the power supply, we are using the Corsair CX430M. Very, very cool power supply. <laughs> Semi modular, that will help cut down on the uh, poor cable management. For RAM, we will be using a 16 uh, kit of DDR4. I know, I know, I should be using EEC memory, but unfortunately. I didn't have the money at the time that I bought it. So, let's open this. For our network interface, we are using this 10 gigabit fiber, fiber optic NIC. For our central processing unit, we are using an i3 um, sky, uh, Skylake processor. Now, I would have used the stack cooler, but that is not my style. I just couldn't do it. Look how small that is, huh? Pretty cool. It even comes with a little badge. For our cache, 
we are using this M.2. Two hundred fifty-six gig, which is a bit overkill, but you can never be too careful. We will be saving the operating system on this portable thirty-two gig hard drive. Brushed aluminum, aluminium for your British and people from across the seas and we will be using six four terabyte Hitachi Dexter NAS drive I think it's Hitachi Dexter Definitely, dark star. Just the way that I'm able. Here they are.
So now three hours into the build and I finally finished the NAS. Let's power it on for the first time. This is the NAS. Built in the fractal case. So let's check it out. I will be uh, putting free NAS on here and that will come in a later video. Thank you for watching an episode of Tyler Tech Tips. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.